My name is Dale and this is my aha moment. We were checking out the area and I was driving by the back of the kiln yard and I didn't know what that was at the time. And um, there was a flame shooting over the top of the wall about maybe three feet long. I called it in, drove around, stopped in the parking lot, grabbed my fire extinguisher, hoping I could find a wrench if I needed one to shut off the valve. Went into the kiln yard and the primary instructor again was sitting there with her feet up against this kiln with her little granny glasses on, smoking a cigarette, and she blows a smoke ring at me. She goes, what's happening, dude? And I said, well, I guess I don't have a gas leak. She says, no, this is a kiln. We're in reduction. To make a long story short, I told dispatch that we were okay, code four, and then I stuck around and I talked to her. And I walked through this studio. It was up at Sierra Nevada College. In this studio was everything from little tiny teapots to huge, huge sculptural ceramics. I looked at this stuff and I thought, oh, how do I get to do this? My aha moment occurred the first time that my primary instructor in clay put a ball of clay on the wheel in front of me. It was turning and I didn't know quite what to do. She said, just get the sponge, put some water on it, touch it. And I did. And then it was a one pound ball of clay. And then I started to try and move it. And you know, it was really no contest. That one pound ball of clay took my 185 pounds and kicked my tail. That was my aha moment. I loved it. In 1997, I started doing pottery at a professional level. Uh, I've sold pottery in just about every state in the union now. In retrospect, it's made things certainly more interesting than just going through a career retiring and doing nothing. I mean, I retired and the next day I was in my studio throwing pots. How good can that be? 20 years later, I'm still doing it.